Hello, collective. This is Rastigal, aka Angelic Empress, welcome you to my channel. I just want to thank everybody that has subscribed to the Vimes, to the Rastigal fam. Appreciate all of y'all, loyal and new. I hope my messages bless you, heal you, and awaken your senses and awareness today. It raise your vibes. This is my new space where I'll be doing more readings. I'm just feeling a refresh energy um, personally, but we'll see if that <laughs> feeling continues within this message today. Okay, I hope everyone's enjoying their Saturday. Yes. Collective, we're going to go ahead and get into the enchanted map. Okay, see what messages we have for the collective today. Again, I hope you're staying cool and calm <laughs> on your weekend. Spirit guides and ancestors, what message do we have for our collective? Thank you for giving me the mindset and energy to deliver a message for my collective. Okay. Any other messages from this deck? So we'll go ahead and do these three. All right, let's turn that one over. All right, you could be the age of 42. 42 breaks down to a six. So be aware of your mindset, your thinking. Um, it also talks about resources uh, being accessible to you. Um, if you are seeing the synchronicities of 666, mm -hmm. this is showing um, a lady on the edge, on a mountain, just, again, opening up herself. Take this message if it resonates and still let it heal you if it doesn't. Um, this could pertain to a male or a female, okay? Wide open, you are spreading your wings, Yes, you want to fly. I just heard spread your love and fly. <laughs> you are 42 of age, possibly. Mm -hmm. You might like the color green. I could be referring to earth signs or not. You know, you could be of any zodiac sign. Oh, there is a butterfly coming to you. Again, butterflies are free. They're delicate, fragile. You're going through a delicate, fragile state right now. Maybe a transformation, a spiritual awakening uh, that you could be going through. Again, this card do look very refreshing. Wow. Okay. This do look very refreshing. Okay. And they are opening up their energy, their heart to the universe. I love that. With a spirit guide by their side. You could be seeing butterflies as a omen. Okay. That could be a spirit guide. You could love butterflies. You could be into nature and... Uh, the animal and bug world. <laughs> okay, you could be very, very gentle as this butterfly on your journey. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and turn this one over. Oh, that came upside down. Okay. It's saying protection, protecting your treasure. Okay, so you are, yeah, you came through a, oh, so by this being upside down, okay, the spirit guides is telling you, collective, 39 turns into a 12, breaks down to it. 
It's telling you to continue to protect yourself, watch over your treasures, watch over everything and anything that you love, that you enjoy doing, that you are working on, that you're creating, you protect it. Be aware of, you know what I mean, what you have, appreciate what you have, show gratitude of where you at and what you have. It may not be the best at this time on what you want, but what you have right now in front of you is what's needed and protect it, protect it, okay? Spirit guides and the spirit realms is telling you to protect yourself wherever you are, okay? It's showing shelter, okay? Maybe where you are, you may not feel protected. Maybe where you are, you don't feel like you're being sheltered enough, okay? And this is showing you that you have came out of it because it's going, I'm turning from, I'm going from right to left. And you could read it going from left to right. So it's showing that maybe how you was feeling and what you was going through. Uh-huh, it's another way to read it. You have arrived, you have awakened, you are wide open, your skies is clear from the rainy days and just things you was going through. This is telling me that spirit realms, you know, the omens of the animal world or kingdom, you know, the universe is protecting you when you may have not felt that way previously. Also protect yourself. Okay, let's see what this one says. Okay, this came upside down too. You could be the age of 47. This is the first time this cards came out. Okay. Okay, that turns into 11. Another thing I'm seeing again, butterflies. It's showing butterflies. The other one showed a butterfly as well. This is showing um, birds. Uh-huh. Even though things are going upside down, tipsy-topsy, in your world, whatever that may have happened or occurred or be, spirit realms, the spirit guides were still there. This one, again, came upside down. You could be the age of 47. It's showing someone, it looks like they're just swimming. Possibly could be just a spiritual bath. Uh huh. It says sacred pool. So you could be diving into spirituality or you're encouraged to take a spiritual bath to feel refreshed and cool cleanse your energy and space remember i mentioned in the beginning i'm feeling a refreshing energy uh-huh but this came upside down again i'm seeing butterflies it sounds and looks like things are being released the energy uh -huh, that surrounded this girl or boy is being released, cleansed, mm -hmm, refreshed. It's in water. So this is encouraging you to stay hydrated, drink your waters to cleanse yourself as well from impure energies. Uh -huh. But yeah, they are in their sacred place, in their sacred moments. They're being cleansed. This was upside down. So that's telling me, Collective, to continue to do that, to relieve and release those energies. And it seems like that's what you're doing. You're protecting yourself, watching over your surroundings. The spirit realms is still there. Regardless if things are going upside down at this time, you are still protected. You are taking care of yourself, refreshing and replenishing yourself and your energy, it's encouragement to do so. And once you do that, you're free. It's like showing that the things that was upside down in your energy, you took your bath, it's showing water twice. So you're being showered and cleansed twice to be refreshed. Mm. Let me spray my hands. <laughs> Yes, collective. And now 
you are being free. You are feeling the fresh air, that refreshing energy that I was feeling. Beautiful. You did everything you needed to do, whether that was protecting yourself, you know, with remedies or just with spiritual holistic things. You took your spiritual bath and now everything that in your energy that was off, it turned upside right. You feeling again, refresh, mm, cleansed, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see if there's okay any other messages from this deck, spirit guides and ancestors. Any other messages from this deck? Any other messages for my collective? Any other messages? Okay. Any other messages? You could be seeing the synchronicities, okay, of four, since I have four cards here on my spread. You are protected, collective. Remember that. Four also talks about stability and feeling secure. Again, feeling safe. Okay. Okay. Any other messages? Okay. I think that's it for that deck. Mm. Yes. Let's turn that upside right. It says spark. You could be the age of 34. This breaks down to a seven. You could be seeing sevens. But you see the woman, beautiful. Could be also representing a man. Playing a violin, playing music. And it's from her heart strings. It's from within her creativity and just the rhythm and the music from within her spirit and soul. She's displaying and playing that. She's releasing. Again, it's talking about releasing energy. This came upside down. You are in the process of releasing energies. Uh -huh. That could involve you taking a spiritual bath. Again, being showered by the universe. Uh-huh showered by the spiritual realms and the universe um, that could involve maybe listening to music, uh-huh, dancing to music to spark and to be relieved from any opposing or stagnant energies. It says you got to find that spark collective. Yes. Mm, you Again, you could be the age of 34. This came upside down. So that's just a reminder to find that spark. What makes your heart sing? What pulls your heart strings? Collective. Maybe that's what you're thinking. What am I here on this planet to do? What makes my heart beat? Skip a beat. What makes my heart feel happy and of joy and free and of love? It makes my heart sing. You see the heart on the string there? Okay, this came upside down. Maybe someone is possibly pulling on your heart strings, on your emotions, uh huh, to try to keep you stagnant or in a stagnant energy. Mm hmm. So continue to cleanse your energy, cleanse yourself. Uh -huh. Move your body, move around, whether you're dancing or not, just keep your body uh, moving when you can to release any energy so you can be wide open and free, collective. Yes, possibly step outside to get some fresh air, showing all these cards are showing someone going outside to get some fresh air. Mm. And I will be doing that today. <laughs> Collective, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Change. I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, 
life of a healer duck. Change your mindset. Collective, you're possibly working on your mind space, your intellect, and you wanted to dive more into, if I was to change my mindset, how would my life be? How would I be able to move amongst my being and spark, you know, what makes my heart, again, sings, what pulls my heart strings? You're possibly looking into doing things that makes you feel this way. Uh-huh. That makes you feel free and wants to want to be wide open. Uh-huh. To the universe in your own creative way. Mm-hmm. You are creating and thinking, working on your mindset collective. To have that abundant mindset. Mm. To be free. Mm -hmm. To spark. Yes. Some energy within you. Okay, I'm pulling from my back of my deck. Yes, you want to create abundance. When you have an abundant mindset, it creates abundance. It brings in that energy. You're possibly working on that, bringing in that energy. You're focusing on not just abundance as in like material. You are looking at abundance in a bigger, broader perspective, higher perspective of abundance of joy, of abundance of peace, of abundance of love, of abundance of feeling free of abundance of feeling protected, abundance of security. Uh-huh. That's the abundance you're thinking about. Possibly collective. Mm. Beautiful. Okay, I'm pulling from my back again. You're using your throat chakra some way somehow to bring in that abundance. Maybe this is encouragement collective to do that. You know, speak it out. Speak it into existence. Speak life into your situations. If you have been feeling this way, not protected, not safe, not secure, uh huh. speak life into your situations and to yourself. Mm. Speak cleansing over yourself, protection over yourself. Uh -huh. When you're doing your sacral or sacred things mm -hmm, that is dear to you to keep your energy, uh -huh, to keep your energy high, to keep your energy free, to release you from anything that's not serving your highest good to help you to feel free, to help you to Continuously move forward to grow mm -hmm. in your own energy and from your heart space collective. You are possibly praying or you're just speaking that out to do things from your heart space that will that will bring a spark. Uh huh. From your heart strings, from your from your soul. Uh huh. For it to sing. Okay, excuse me, collective. Mm. Again, I'm pulling from the back. Yes, again, you are getting signs from the universe. Uh huh. Angels and spirit guides are with you and they are present and they're supporting you. Whatever decisions, choices you are making, you know. The universe, a.k.a. Ra, God, whoever you serve, you know, that's for your highest good. You are including them in your world, in your life, and it's bringing a miracles. It's bringing abundance. You're putting that energy and spirit first to attract what you are desiring, what you need. Maybe you're making wishes in the stars or in a... You're looking up at the sky even more, knowing that you are protected, you're safe and secure, 
Mm -hmm. by the sun shining on you. Mm -hmm. You're getting maybe some nature, angelic healing from the higher realms, being outside, letting that sun just shine on you. Yes, I love that collective. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everything that you had to go through and pulling from the top. Okay. Saturn, it says it's responsible self. So you are bringing structure to your life or you're restructing um, things in your life that you are working on to discipline yourself, maybe possibly a routine mm -hmm. to do that continuously, to bring structure, to do things in your world, in your life, in your schedule that will help you to be responsible, obligated. Mm -hmm. You are obeying the spiritual laws as well as man's law. And it's giving you the uh, am ammunition is what I heard, but also the ambition uh -huh, to pursue whatever you are looking to do or to become. You're adding structure in your world, in your life. Uh-huh. And you're doing that once you, you know, remove this stagnant energy. I love it. Yeah, that stagnant energy collective was... <laughs> was done from wieners. You are becoming a winner when you continuously realize how you're feeling, feel it, uh huh, go through it, and then release it. And that's what occurred here. You felt it, you saw it wasn't your energy or just it wasn't you, whatever this was here that's upside down, and you release it. Mm -hmm. Now you're trying to change your mindset to have this abundant mindset, speaking it into existence, adding structure into your life, a routine or schedule in your life. Maybe you're writing down things to accomplish or that you want to do that will spark some life into your life, <laughs> collective. That will spark or have your heart race and pumping uh -huh. for your highest good. You have released these energies that were trying to keep you binded, that was trying to keep you strangled and stagnant. You have released it. Now that's making you become a winner, not a wiener collective. <laughs> yes. You're possibly changing how you're eating. Instead of fried chicken, you're baking your chicken. Someone loves chicken. Mm-hmm. Also, someone, like I said, within those stagnant energies was looking at you as being a chicken because you're so fragile, because you're so delicate, uh -huh. because you're being wide open to yourself and your calling or just to yourself, loving on yourself, taking care of yourself. Someone thinks that that's a chicken move. Mm -hmm. Possibly they were doing kitchen magic using those type of animals, sacrificing Mother Nature's creation, mm -hmm, God's creation, in an unlawful way, abusing spiritual practices. Uh -huh. And it shows here, fried chicken, they're going to be fried. Sorry, collective. They're going to be fried. They're, all that energy is going back to them because you've cleansed it. Now you're looking for things that will help you spark and raise your energy and vibration. You have cleansed yourself from this eating, uh -huh, unhealthy eating, or you're working on that, or from just those energies, collective. Let me see if I can push this back so you can see it more. Bear with me, collective. Okay, there we go. Okay. Mm. 
Yes. You have removed yourself from these pamper and pemptress energies. Uh huh. And if you were this, you are changing your energy and your ways. You are washing yourself clean. You're moving yourself from these energies of being a pamper and pemptress. If you was in this energy and are doing this lifestyle, possibly you're working on changing that around. Because that energy just only brought unhealthy patterns, uh -huh. unhealthy energies, uh -huh. unclean energies, being a pimper and a pimptress, you see? And it was stopping you to find your spark in life. What, again, makes your heart sing. Mm -hmm. This energy is pulling on your heart strings, on your emotions, collective. Wow. You are turning that around. Hopefully, collective, that is beautiful. That's the energy I like to hear. Mm. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. My gosh, collective. You are, by you cleansing your energy, just everything you've gone through, it has gave you, or you're being gifted, possibly. This may not relate to everybody. You know, take this message again if it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. Still let it heal you. You are being blessed with one of the clairs. Clear the ability to hear. Clear audience in a paranormal manner. You're hearing the angels sing. You're hearing the angels send you messages, speak to you, you know, on a 5-3 realms as well as a 3-D realms. Okay? It just really depends on how in tune you are with yourself and with the angelic realms. Okay? The relationship you have. But you're hearing them. You're hearing them more. Their gentle voice. It could be stern sometimes. <laughs> But you're hearing their gentle voice that is here to protect you, is here to tell you, oh, you may need to cleanse your energy. You know, if you're speaking that out, saying, I'm feeling this way, you know, you're calling back, again, your energy. You're calling back your abundant mindset. You're calling back your abundance. Mm, collective. You are being blessed with one of the clairs. By you calling back your energy or you calling, you know, on the higher realms to come and help you in any way possible. Uh-huh. They are giving you signs from the universe. Angels and spirit guides are letting you know. They hear you. They're here to help you. They're here to guide you. They're here to protect and support you. Okay? You got to speak up. Ask for their help. They won't just um, <laughs> just jump in, you know, unless it really is a dying need. But when you call on their assistance, they are here to help us, collective, guide us, direct us, protect us, you know, nurture us, and also bless us. You know, for us to be a blessing to each other as well as to ourselves. Yes, collective. You are opening up your mouth. Uh-huh. Speaking life into your situation. Mm. Into your existence. My gosh. You are moving away from your self node or you're working on it. Mm -hmm. This energy here. Uh-huh. Is of the south node. I'm going to put that with that. You're getting out of that phase. Out of that energy. Or you're working on it. Mm -hmm. You're changing your mindset. You're speaking life into your situations. Not having a poverty mindset. You're speaking and praying to have an abundant mindset. Mm -hmm. So it brings in all sorts of abundance in your life. My gosh, in your energy. 
Mm. You could be um, experiencing ear ringing in your ears, maybe the right ear or left ear. Okay. The right ear is telling you your angelic angels and the universe is around you. Okay. They're also hearing you and they're hearing your requests. They're hearing what you're praying and what you're saying. They are seeing and helping you find whatever needs to um, spark your heart to get that pumping gun full of, of life. They are hearing you. Mm -hmm. If your left ear is ringing, you know, that's telling you that things that you're going through here on this earth, uh huh, you know, you're in the presence of whatever's going on right now. Mm -hmm. And that could be from your surroundings, whoever's in your surroundings, possibly in your energy or what they could be doing around your energy behind your back, in your face, you know, your left ear is usually a warning uh -huh, of the present and of uh -huh, the present time and moments in your life, what you're going through on the 3D when you hear your ears ring, but also it could represent the 5D because when you're not present in whoever's energy Whatever's being done, whatever's being said, whatever's being cast in the 5D, that's giving you warnings that, yeah, you're being thought of, you're being talked about, you're being gossiped about, you're being on someone's mind, in someone's mouth. You're the topic of their conversation or of their life. Uh huh. Your ears ring to tell you what's happening right now, currently. And what to watch out for. Mm -hmm. Right ear, again, heavenly angels are present in your 3D or 5D. They hear you. They're here to help you. They're surrounding you. They're protecting you. Collective. This is what you could be going through. Okay? This message may not be for everybody. Just know that you are protected. Okay, pulling from my top. You are protected from the evil eyes. It is going blind. Whatever road you take, whatever moves you make, yes, they're watching you, of course. Whatever energies that is trying to keep you stagnant and stuck, they're watching you. But their evil eyes are going blind. Once you cleanse and clear your energy, continuously move forward to be your authentic, fragile Mm hmm Soft self. This picture looks so soft. You may be focusing on wanting to live a soft life. Uh-huh. A gentle life. Not so much in hardship. Not so much slaving and laboring so hard. Uh, so hard. You want to focus on what makes, again, you dance, makes your heart sing, make you want to fly. Mm. Makes you feel liberated. And when we're changing our mindset constantly, want to have this abundant mindset, want to create, focus on creating abundant mindset. These are the gifts that are coming in. Beautiful collective. And remember, you are protected. That is beautiful. Mm. Again, you're going out getting the sun. Encouragement to get some sun healing, sun bathing. Make sure you wear your sunscreen. <laughs> uh -huh. It's saying the Leo. The other one of the Saturn was the Capricorn. You could have those uh, zodiac signs in your chart. The conscious self, yes. The ego, the basic consciousness, the personality, vitality, and stenoma. Yes. Remember on this yellow one, I mentioned ambition. So you're working on bringing that ambition back into your life, that motivation. 
Let me be your motivation. Yes, you're being your own motivation. Mm. Or you're looking at someone as motivation. Yes. And that's bringing vitality into your world. Stenema into your world. It's changing your personality. Mm -hmm. You're working on your ego. You're working on your conscious self. You're getting possibly assistance from the right people or energies. Mm. You are being healed and relieved from any stagnant energies. Once you go out in nature, get some sun. I can see clearly now the rain. <laughs> is what I heard. The rain is gone. Okay. And by the rain being gone, you're seeing, you know, the things that you need to accomplish and tackle. The obstacles you're seeing. You're seeing it and you're tackling it. Hmm. It's going to be a bright, 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 sunshiny day. I love that. Mm. I'm going to put that right here. Mm. Yes, collective. My gosh. Okay, let's see what angels, because we talked about the angels, but before I, yeah, let's talk about what angel is helping you with your situation, with this topic of discussion, collective, that you may be feeling or going through. Just know whatever you're going through, it's leading you into some liberal some liberation some abundance mm -hmm. and you are protected in everything you're doing and moving forward too for your highest good getting out of the stagnant energy getting out of that poverty mindset my gosh you're working on your abundant mindset wow that is awesome you could be seeing signs from metatron my gosh, when I see his name, it just does something to me. <laughs> He's here to cleanse your energy. He's here to help you. Remember what I was saying about you hearing your ears ringing? You know, he's sending, he's the guide and the messenger to help send that prayer, that request, uh huh, that energy up into the higher realms. So they can come down to support you. You could be calling on Archangel Metatron. You could be seeing a red fiery light in a corner of your eyes. You know, it buzz past you. Uh huh. Okay, he is the one who sits next to God. My gosh, collective. Whoa. Guide, messenger, and channeler. Wow, collective. Let's see what it says behind it. Okay, he helps sustain human beings. He also guides children who has passed. If that has occurred, my condolence, prematurely, into paradise. Wow. And he helps them adjust to their life. So if you have, again, gone through that, you're grieving and getting over that. I don't think you'll ever get over something like that. But Archangel Metatron is here to help you through that process in your life, that grievance in your life. And just know that that energy, that spirit baby is watching over you, protecting you, guiding you, speaking up for you in the higher realms. Okay, If you have gone through that situation, they may possibly come back if it's meant for you to produce again, bear fruit. Mm -hmm. They may come back in a reincarnation form in any way, any form, as in a pet, as in another child. You'd be surprised what they'll come reincarnated as. My right hand's itching. 
So you could be receiving, again, abundance in all kinds of ways. Uh, he helps you to ease your grief, find peace during crisis times. He also sends your prayers to heaven. Exactly. Transform your painful death into a peaceful one. Deepens your connection to spirit. This whole time I was talking about a connection. Mm. He helps the lost children again. Be relieved from their grief of their parents who uh, was the prince of ministering angels. Uh-huh. He preserves and enhances the link between human beings and divine. My gosh. My gosh. Archangel Metatron is a big deal. Again, he sits next to God. He is no joke. <laughs> you can't call on these archangels and play. I'm telling you, they're not here to play. Hmm. Everyone has a guardian angel. So maybe you're working on building that connection with your guardian angel that is assigned to you, collective. Again, I talked about connection. You're working on your spiritual connection with yourself and the higher realms, or that's encouragement to do so. Okay. Your guardian angel encourages you to make choices that will create joy. Joy, 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 and deepen your spiritual connection. My gosh. Hmm. They also help you. Your guardian angel helps you to connect with angelic guidance. Find direction in your life. Know you are protected. Become filled with hope and joy. And that's what I've been saying throughout this whole message. Finding that joy. Knowing that you're secure, protected, and loved. Call on your guardian angels to help you with that, to help you with hope again in your life, to help you to breathe again with purpose, mm, with meaning. My gosh. And it also states you are born with at least one guardian angel who watches over you your entire lifetime. Their greatest pleasure comes from seeing you succeed in life. My gosh. That's exactly what I've been talking about. That is their greatest pleasure. To see us find this abundance. To have this abundance in our life. With joy. Abundance of joy. Abundance of love. Abundance of finding success. Finding and creating success. Finding and creating abundance. Finding and creating, uh-huh, more of what makes our heart sings. Abundance of being authentic. <laughs> Collective. My gosh, I'm loving this message. I'm loving this message. I hope you are enjoying this message as well. It is raising your energy, giving you some hope today. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pull a few cards from my nice. Stary Beginnings. Okay. Spare guides and ancestors. Any messages from my Stary Beginnings? Well, any other messages from my Stary Beginnings? I'm loving this message already. The cards. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that there. So the first one that turned over again, you could be seeing a lot of fours. Tens. Wow, it's showing tens. It says, no longer holds power over you. Whatever that was holding power over you, it no longer has. That's just telling you your angelic presence that's surrounding you for your highest good is helping you. So that energy, whatever that was, no longer has control and power over you, collective. You are removing yourself. 
The spirit realms is helping you do so. Mm. You are dissolving attachments of the past with love. My gosh, collective. I love that. You could be seeing tens. Mm. Tens a lot. Yes, shine love on fear. Love will light up the darkness. My gosh. You could be seeing 18. Eight turn into nine. Tens. Endings and beginnings. My gosh. This is what I've been saying throughout my whole message. Endings. New beginnings. My gosh, collective. Okay, bring that closer so you can see it. It is beautiful. That's what's occurring right now. Wow. Okay, let's see what this next one is. Everything is as you create it. All you create offers you lessons in life. So what you have, what you have experienced, what you have gone through, okay, it was a lesson to help you to move forward and to continuously growing. You could be the age of 26. You could be, it's turning back eight. It's like it's going, you know, backwards. We're about to see what this last one is. But everything that has created or you've created, it either was a blessing or a lesson. You could be the age of 26. Again, we have eight, nine, 10. It's counting down. Mm -hmm. Everything's in accordance. It's like in synchronicity. You could be seeing eights. You could be seeing nines. Wow. 23. You could be the age of 23 or that number is significant to you. Your past emotion lives in you. You are expressing it more. It is releasing. It is helping you to release. Remember we talked about the throat chakra. Wow, collective. Your past emotion lives in you. You are expressing it more and it is releasing. Wow, collective. You are releasing energies of the past. Mm. By expressing yourself and using your throat chakra, it has no longer power over you. My, oh my. It is dissolving attachments of the past and you're doing that with love in love for yourself you're possibly doing it for yourself and you're releasing it it no longer has power over you yes it lives within all of us but it no longer that trauma just <laughs> any type of trauma dumping any type of past energy or memories just anything you are healing it at this time is what it's saying it no longer has the power. You are releasing it in love. My gosh. You are expressing it more and it's releasing. It says releasing twice. Dissolve attachments. That's like releasing. It is releasing. My gosh. 23 breaks down to a five. So big changes is occurring. Collective. I'm loving that. I am loving that. Continue to... Again, work on yourself. Continue to want the best for yourself. Only for yourself, not for others, not for these past energies. Continue working on yourself for your highest good, for you to achieve and, you know, be who you're called to be or want to be, whatever that may be. <laughs> be who you want to be. What do you want to be? That is the question, Collective. My gosh, whatever that is, and it's for your highest good, it's going to help you with your mindset. It's going to bring abundance. Mm. Archangel Metatron and the Guardian Angels are here to assist you. And Mother Nature, overall, continue to speak life into your situations, asking the higher realms to assist you again. You're hearing things that they're instructing you to do or want you to do so gently. 
so gracefully. Um, that's encouragement to move gracefully out of situations. Bow out gracefully, collective, and move on with yourself and in your growth. That's encouragement. Thank you so much, collective. My gosh, so much growth and just abundance to look forward to. Continue working on your energies, cleansing, clearing, raising your energy and vibes. Continue working on your mindset. That's That was like the main thing here. Working on your mindset. When I prayed in the beginning, I prayed and just thank my higher realms, my higher selves for giving me the mindset to speak to you today. It gives you hope and clarity and guidance. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, this is Rasta Gal, a.k.a. Angelic Empress. See you. Peace.